This will be the final video for this uh, Red Mighty Morphin kit. Um, I put it together, the visor's in, and like I said, I wanted it a little loose here. Um, all I did was mark where I wanted it, and all I did was use hot glue to glue it in place. So I did it pretty nice and neat. Um, the next thing it is I, uh, I put straps on. Um, the straps are only for display only. Um, I, I tried to wear it with it, and it's going to probably damage your piece if you leave them in. So it's a lot better just to leave them off if you suit up. So what I did was I took some elastic strap and I put Velcro tabs on there, hot glued it. And the neat thing is if you want to wear it without the straps, it comes off pretty easily, like I said. And on the reverse side, I have two modes. The, the farthest one, or these ones are for when display. And if I choose to wear it with it on, I have this. But most likely, I won't wear the straps when I'm wearing the helmet. Um, it's just way easier to get on and off. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much about it. Um, when you put the straps on, what you want to do is you want to put the helmet together first. Um, let's see if I can do this in videotape. I might be able to. Should have grabbed a thing for it. Okay. So what I did was, the reason I want the straps are because when it's on display there's a little gap from the tension and the straps will actually bring it in play. Um, and then like I said, the thing about these are, as you can see, that there will be some wear and tear the more you play with this. Um, that you're just going to have. And it's not really lined up at this moment, but all you have to do is you take one of these, stick it in, and then you stick it onto the second port. And when everything is said and done, it will look like this. Um, like I said, I'm only going to use the, the straps for display purpose only. I'm not going to wear it with the straps because if you have too much tension, this thing will just collapse on itself and all that time you spent on the paint it could really mess it up so there's the straps in here's the helmet and as you can see the gaps a lot closer in and here is the final look of it all um i might take some car wax and actually buff it completely out to get it more of a shine there's still hot glue on it um i mean it's already pretty shiny as it is but I want to probably take a clear coat, or not clear coat, but wax for it. So yeah, that is the helmet from start to finish. Um, if there's any questions, I have no problem of answering. Um, but yeah, I finally actually finished a video from start to finish of how to build this thing. Um, like I said, there wasn't really that many videos on YouTube, so I thought, hey, I might as well make one. Um, so if anyone has any questions about or has anything I could help them with, just feel free to leave a comment and I'll try to answer it.